is on your side tonight with action taken this afternoon by the Omaha City Council regarding guns. One would ban ghost guns. The other would ban trigger devices that could turn a gun into firing like a machine gun. Brian Mastery is here now with how they voted. John and Aaron, the debate is still underway at City Hall on other gun related resolutions, but let's first talk about the ghost guns that we have in the screen behind me. City Council President proposed making the parts illegal to possess since the issue is currently tied up in the courts nationally. Omaha police have seized 61 of them so far this year, some involved in violent crimes. In 2019, investigators recovered only two ghost guns. Police Chief Todd Schmatter says it's clear that these numbers will only continue to grow if something is not done. Well, the city attorney says that around Omaha can get around state law because when LB 77 passed earlier this year, allowing anyone who can legally buy a handgun in Nebraska to conceal carry it without a permit or even taking a safety class, the law is about firearms. City attorney believes that these ghost gun parts aren't firearms until they're assembled. The city council voted four to three along party lines with the Democrats in the majority to ban ghost guns in Omaha. I do think it's important we can do whatever we can to reduce gun violence and increase public safety in the community. I do believe these are common sense measures and they're reasonable. Uh, They'll help us achieve those goals by addressing illegal guns. Everybody keeps talking about them as ghost guns. And so, so for the moms out there, if you think that we're actually banning the guns, that's not what this ordinance does. It doesn't ban the gun. Councilman Melton doesn't believe the ghost gun ban will survive a court challenge. And now in the last hour, the other issue that was debated, a ban on bump stocks. Those are the accessories that can turn a firearm into more like a machine gun. While that issue seemed to have support just on the bump stock ban portion, but the council members didn't want that language to confuse in having other accessories being excluded. So the issue was delayed for two weeks to sort that out. On your side in the studio, Brian Mastry, 6 News.